two proclamations tonight, um, one of which has become uh, a tradition that we're very proud of and happy to do. The other one is a, a new proclamation that hopefully will become an uh, a annual uh, event as well. Um, first, I would like to invite Angela Colazzo up to the podium to join me. Um, Angela. Uh, f we have now, for the past few years, I'd say for the past three, or four, three years perhaps, been proud to partner with the Ali Shea Project to bring awareness to osteo osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as OI, uh, in memory of Aranaquite resident Ali Shea. Uh, she was born with OI and lived an amazing five weeks, battling what is better known as brittle bone disease. Um, since the tragic loss of Ali, her parents, Angela and Kim, and their daughter Ella, have worked to bring awareness and raise thousands of dollars in support of OI research and support uh, for families. And we're once again proud to proclaim the first full week of May, Osteogenesis Imperfecta Awareness Week in the town of Irondequoit. I will read a, a proclamation in a truncated form and then ask Angelo to say a few words. Um, it reads, whereas a great society is only as great as those organizations that perform exemplary service on behalf of their community, and whereas osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as brittle bone disease, is a genetic disorder characterized by fragile bones that break easily, a person is born with this disorder and is affected throughout his or her lifetime. And whereas because there is no cure for OI, treatment focuses on minimizing fractures, the surgical correction of deformity, reducing bone fragility, maximi maximizing mobility and independent function. And whereas increased funding for education and research are needed to help find more effective treatments, and is an, it is important that there be no greater public awareness of rare disorders and diseases of unmet need, and there must be more done to increase support of those affected as well as their families. Now, therefore, let it be known that we, David A. Seeley, and the town of Aranaquite, the town board on behalf of all residents, join with others across our state and country, including the Osteo Imperf Osteogenesis Imperfecta Foundation, in recognizing May 5th through the 12th, 2018, as Osteogenesis Imperfecta Week, and offer our support in raising awareness for this rare disorder, signed the town board of Aranaquit. So on behalf of the residents and uh, we're happy to partner with the LSA project. We do this with the memory of your daughter, and it's always terrific to see you. Please give Angela a round of applause. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank uh, Supervisor Seeley and the uh, town board for this. Um, I'll be brief since I have a packed crowd here, and there's a lot to do. Thank but uh, <laughs> um, I just want to say that for the people who are not familiar with OI, um, it's a lot easier to say OI than osteogenesis imperfecta five times fast. <laughs> but um, we never heard of it until Allie was born. Um, when we went for our 20-week ultrasound, the doctor called us at a quarter to 11 at night, which scared us once we found out it was a doctor. And he said there was something wrong with the ultrasound, and he wanted us to come back. He said it could have been just a mismeasurement, but Allie's arms and legs were growing four weeks behind where they should have been at 20 weeks. So we didn't get no sleep that night, went back the next day, and he confirmed that her arms and legs were growing slower than the rest of her body. So after many, many ultrasounds and many, many different syndromes and diseases and everything that was thrown out, the doctors had no clue what was going on with Allie. And this is how rare this disease is. So we finally got released to a strong hospital, and doctors there were always stumped. They always told us it was this. One doctor said, no, it's not this. It's this. We didn't know until the day she was born. And that's when... I kid you not, 20 doctors, geneticists, nurses, and physician assistants all came in our, our room and told us that Allie had osteogenesis imperfecta, type 2, which is the most fatal. And um, we had no clue what they were talking about, and so the geneticists broke it down, and basically they told us to be prepared for the worst, and they think she was going to make it past the night. But she fought for five weeks, and I got to hold her in her arms before she passed away. And that was the first time I got to hold her, and as, as parents here, you know, holding your child when they're born, Skin to skin is like the most important thing. I never got to hold her like that until the day she was passing away. And on that day, I promised her, what well, we promised her, that we'll keep her fight together, or keep her fight alive. So for the past, she would have been nine years this past, uh, nine years old this past 14th. And um, so, sorry. For the past nine years, we have been keeping that fight strong. And there's, if you see me on Facebook, I'm always posting about it. I'm always thinking of some kind of way to raise awareness because I don't want that to be forgotten. I'm trying to get doctors to change their mind about this disease because, believe it or not, there are doctors who will not treat people who have OI because, for one, they don't know much about it, and two, they're afraid of getting sued because just putting on a T-shirt, rolling over in bed, somebody could break a leg. Just 
getting up out of a chair. They could break the arm. Coughing too hard, they could break their ribs or their um, collarbone. So we've been trying to do this fight for nine years, and so far we have raised over $70,000. And every penny that we raise goes to the OI Foundation. And as the Ali Shee Project, what other thing that we do, we send little care packages all over the world to kids who have this brittle bone disease. And I tell you, there's no greater feeling than when you're doing something for somebody else. Um, we get pictures and emails and phone calls and from parents saying, like, our child broke their leg or whatever and had surgery, multiple surgeries they could have. Um, but when they got your package, this is the first time I see them smile in a long time. And that means a lot. And people say, I'm doing such a great job, I'm such a great person, but what it boils down to, I'm just a father who made a promise to his daughter, and by hell or high water, I'm going to keep it. And proclamations like this helps. We're slowly gain, gaining um, steam, and we're about as grassrooted as you would get. It's just my wife and I, and my daughter Ella, <coughs> which is Allie spelled backwards. So we continue to fight. I mean, I'm not going to give this up until the day that it's my time to leave. So I really do appreciate everything this town has done for me. Um, I'm very thankful and I'm humbled by being up here and in front of everybody and getting such a great honor. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate uh, all you do, Angelo, and we're always happy to partner with you on this.